I actually applied from day one to the MPO. So I was one of the few ones that didn't know that they wanted to spend two years and invest two years. I'm currently doing a one plus one program in Oxford under Indonesia Presidential Scholarship. So basically this program is a one year master degree and a one year MBA. So I did a one year master degree on environmental change and management last year and I'm currently doing the MBA. And I came to Oxford actually to study a Master's in Public Policy, um, which is the direction that I actually wanted to go in. But I thought that a Public Policy degree would be actually very well complemented by ECM because ECM has a very strong focus on the policy aspects of, of environmental management. So for me, this is part of a broader postgraduate education picture. Um, because it provides a bit of a grounding in environmental science, the economics of environmental policy, um, and a bit of the sort of the social, cultural, technical aspects of uh, some of the environmental challenges that we face. I mean, from the moment I started undergrad, I always knew that I was going to do a PhD. Um, I just didn't know that I was going to be called a DPhil. <laughs> Um, but I knew that coming to Oxford, um, and given that I was on the Rhodes Scholarship, I had the opportunity to pursue my doctoral studies immediately after. Maybe because I have had working experience, um, I felt that I could take some time out of it and do more than four or five months of research. Even though it was somewhat of a set path in terms of me already knowing what I wanted to do. I felt as if the ECM program gave me a nice flavor for all the different possibilities that I could have engaged with. Um, uh, and I can even give an example where like in one of the, the models that we did and I engaged with cultural models which seemed to be a bit abstract to me, um, at least coming from my background, but now it's sort of part of what I'm actually researching in my, in my energy research for the PhD and it seems a very interesting tool that I guess undervalued a lot in the energy space. So that's just one example of it being directly applicable to my work. Last year during the ECM, uh, uh, I managed to take an elective of energy policy with uh, Nick Ayer. Um, in fact, actually, I put his name in my motivation letter. He's, he's an amazing guy, and even more amazing when you met him in person. Um, so I learned about uh, how complicated it is for energy policy, and I decided to do a dissertation on uh, uh, biodiesel policy in Indonesia under his supervision, uh, which was really nice. I managed to meet many high-profile uh, people, like uh, parliament members, like uh, the ministerial uh, staff and, and many uh, experts on the field. Uh, and this year, uh, as, I'm, as a student inside business school, uh, I'm gonna have an entrepreneurship project and we decided to do a project on a solar panel business, um, which is very interesting because this is a growing market and we're gonna try to figure out uh, an innovative way to to sell solar panel uh, in in more efficient way. <laughs>